gentlemen, it is my pleasure and my honor to bring you this interview with uh, City of Gin. The interview was recorded right here at Stanford University. Yes, they came and graced the campus with their amazing presence. I'd like to say a big, big hello to Micah and uh, to, of course, Marwan for coming to Stanford and meeting the students. I was able to record this interview with them as uh, they were preparing for a gig in San Francisco. Now, the gig has passed, if you hear about it, but certainly check out their of, check out where they'll be next uh, uh, through their social media. This is DJ Ram, the show's Arabology, and I'm going to bring you City of Gin. This is KCSU Stanford, 90.1 FM. I am your DJ Ramsey, and I am so delighted today because I have in person with me some musicians who I've admired for many years, and I can't believe they are at Stanford. I'm going to let them introduce themselves, beginning with Marwan. Hello, I'm Marwan Kamel. I play uh, Buzuk in City of Jin and uh, Fretless Guitar. Mumtaz, and who's the other part of uh, City of Jin? Hi, I'm Micah. I could be sold. I play uh, a little bit of everything. And together, you are City of Gin. City of Gin. Shall we spell gin? D J I N N. Oh, so it's not the, the not other the kind drink. of gin. Yeah. yeah. Was that on purpose? <laughs> the playing with the words, yeah. We'll leave it at that. And we've got in the studio with us Leah, Muna, Tawil. Marhaba. Marhaba. Keith Hadik. Alhamdulillah. Wow, with that beautiful Arabic. <laughs> because you, you, how do you know these uh, you guys? I met them at the Yellow Punk Festival in Philadelphia last year. Mumtaz. Yeah. And the rest is history. And the rest is history. And uh, you, uh, you are here, City of Jim in the Bay Area and today at Stanford and you are actually performing. Marwan, you want to tell us uh, where you will be? or So tomorrow uh, we're going to be at the uh, Hemlock Tavern in San Francisco. We're going to be playing some of our new stuff as well as some of the stuff off of the album which is coming out soon, hopefully, depending on the mastering. Um, Do we have a time? Uh, Leah has all the details. Okay, Leah, can you tell us? Of course. Hemlock Tavern, the doors are at 8.30, and yeah, these guys are the headliners. Uh, let me talk to you guys about, uh, well, first of all, the song, uh, or the track Hakawati. Let's begin with Marwan, and then we'll go to Micah. So this song uh, really was inspired uh, in part I was going through a lot of things when the war in Syria started. My family is there. Um, my cousin ended up in Russia. He was doing his PhD there. And all of a sudden, he's like, hey, give me $700. And next thing I know, he, he calls me, and he's like, guess where I am? And I was like, oh, no. He's very stupid, but very determined. Where was he? He's in Norway. Oh, my God. He went God. to Norway. Did he sort of escape? Yeah, so um, he was afraid that, you know, after his visa uh, expired, that he'd get sent back to Syria and... He's from Ladia, and it's like uh, they have Russian army there. So wow. Um, so it, the, it was kind of inspired by his story of just like running away. Uh, it's about a storyteller going through their memories, but also uh, you know talking about the road ahead. Wow. Kind of thing, losing hope. Yeah, we should tell the listeners that Hakawati is storyteller. It's yes. a tradition in, in in Syria, but in the Arab world as well. And generally, and here you are being a kind of Hakawati yourself exactly. by telling the story of others. In fact, Marwan, you are involved with like helping a lot of refugees. Yeah, I teach uh, refugee kids music in Chicago. We run a program for dance and. Um, music education for refugees. I'm kind of trying to uh, keep alive the Maqam tradition. It gives them a bridge uh, into the community to present their own culture, but also stay rooted in their own identity. That's beautiful to hear the Maqam with your kind of mixes, you know, yeah. brought up to date, but it's, yeah, it's still there. Let me turn to Micah. Marhaba, Micah. How are you? I'm good. Can you tell me how you became involved in City of Jin and how you met your uh, co-conspirator here, yes. Marwan? We were musical accomplices. Yeah, We met at a hookah bar uh, probably like 10 years ago. Nice. And he was playing my dumbek and uh, and whatnot. We were all just jam late at night. Um, some old Tunisian guys. Named Najib Bahri. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow, well, you Najib. remember. Najib's yeah. nuts. Yeah. 
He's 30, a 38 minute tambourine solo type of guy. <laughs> yeah, uh, and you decided to form City of Gin. Yeah, well, we, we played as Althara. Um, right, I should ago. mention that the Revolution, Althara, yeah. was the yeah. original name. Yes, that was the, hard, the hardcore band that we played, and it was kind yeah. of a lot heavier and more. Yeah, it was punk. rooted in punk and metal, and we were trying to add culture to it. But it was really hard to do because within the punk sound, you know, people didn't always accept it. Mm. Yeah, and there's a lot of a lot of tropes that have to have to happen, and uh, yeah. we were like imposing uh, ideas from Macomb, but a lot of it was very imitative. Like it was, uh, it was like not yeah. completely faithful to it. And uh, City of Jin is like kind of the inverse of that. It's like yeah. we start from the Macomb stuff and then add wow. the. All was, their textures. Was Athoda just the two of you also? No, or? there was uh, another another member. His name's Mario. Right. What year was City of Jin born? Hmm. 2014, I think. Oh. Something like that. That was our first show. So. Wow. Wow. And so you're based in Chicago. Yes. And you perform in Chicago and elsewhere. And, of course, people definitely need to check out your work, City of Jin. In fact, the album is self-titled, is it? City the, of Jin. The upcoming one is self-titled. We have a uh, demo that we put out, but it's all self-recorded, which you've heard it before. It was. Uh, it's called Ether and Red Sulfur. Right. Yeah. And I remember playing a track from that, I think, last year. I, You know that name, the Ether and Red Sulfur? It was just you know something existing outside of the physical. It's like I actually was inspired by something from Ibn al Arabi, which is like Al uh, Kabrit al Ahmar. He talks about it as wow. like the philosopher's stones. Mike, how, how uh, um, familiar are you with the Maklam tradition and such? Uh, it's an ongoing learning experience between Marwan and I. We kind of, you know, if you're not enrolled in a class for something, you have to find all the, the materials on your own. I actually, you know, instrumentally, I had to take all the frets off of my guitar and then put on new ones wow. in order to match what Marwan can do on a busuk. Wow. So up until you met Marwan, you weren't that familiar with this kind of traditional no, music? No, I mean, not uh, not melodically, no. Uh, yeah, but you were it's like... It's kind of a mystery. Yeah, but, but you were like also exploring music in India and stuff yeah. too. So the, like, the, the, what's it called, um, modal traditions, you were familiar with the idea of it. Yeah, I mean, the ideas, but... You know, when you actually put things into practice and, you know, doing it your own way, that's a, that's a different so, thing. So when you guys perform, like, are your audiences mainly Arab Americans or are they, like, varied? Uh, when you look into the audience, what do you see? Hmm. Or if talking to, you know, your fans after the show. Leia, what do you think? Yeah, the good I, question for <laughs> uh, for Leia Muna Tawil. I think that the audiences are quite mixed, actually. I think these guys um, attract uh, people curious about contemporary Arab music and Arab avant-garde. Um, um, but also it attracts like uh, those in, involved in experimental music at large and also drone, psych, right, rock. Right. Um, so the, I think the audiences are more about the community around the music uh, at large. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's, you know, especially with the Arab Spring, there was such an interest in that kind of thing. So oh. to do what you guys are doing with City of Ginger, it's, it's really timely. It's really needed. And it's educational on some levels. But you also appeal to not only Arab Americans who would love to who would love to hear the Arabic, I'll say the maqam in your song, but also to uh, people in general who are open to new 
kind of music. It's like East Definitely. meets meets West yeah. so beautifully. Got to uh, re like update the musical palette in America as well. Inshallah, Inshallah, <laughs> which is what what I, my show is about. I mean, I, it is about people like City of Jin. Thank you for always sort of creating um, uh, new sounds for us. It is much needed. Uh, You're welcome. Right. So, uh, Leah has a program that she's doing of um, of of Arab American music and uh, experimental music that she started here in the Bay. So, yeah, because Leah, unlike the the two guys, is uh, kind of in in Oakland a lot of the time. Tell me about that, Leah. Yes. Yeah, so I run Temescal Art Center. Uh, we call it TAC, and. Um, it is, it's a multi-use interdisciplinary space um, that supports dance and music primarily in, in the experimental and community realm. And um, this past fall, I'm trying, attempting to launch an Arab avant-garde music program uh, for music and, and actually for performance at large. So dance is folded into that. In Oakland? In Oakland, wow. yeah. So we're in North Oakland and, um, and, and having City of Gin here is part of this Arab Avant music program. So sorry. will they be at the Tamaskal um, Art Center? This trip? Yes, actually. So the Hamlock show is tomorrow night, Thursday, the 15th. And then at on 8.30. At 8.30. And on the 16th at TAC, we're having an event called Babylon. Wow. And um, Babylon is actually a ritual um, created by myself and my collaborator Zari Leone. It's uh, nine musicians and nine dancers and uh, some media artists and we all gather and we uh, improvise based on a, a, a score that we've predetermined and so I'm so happy that these guys yeah. are here for that ritual. It's it makes sense in the and and where can people find out more about you know what activities are coming up? I'm thinking especially of the Stanford students who are really interested in this. And in order for them to go to Oakland, maybe we'll mm. do a field trip and bring you know a couple of buses. Absolutely. Uh, so where would we be uh, kept updated about your events? Temescal Art Center dot org. Um, so Temescal is T E M E S C A L Art. Center, and there you can find our schedule. We have a TAC music series, and um, also we have a Deb Kid program. Nice. Um, so on the third Sunday of each month, there's a free Deb Kid Palestinian folkloric dance workshop from 11 to 12:30, and it's free. Wow! So, so you can make anyone Deb Kid? Of course. You, you can teach them the Deb Kid. Not me. Uh, our artist is Wael Buhasi, and oh. uh, yes. Well, and, tahiyatna la Wael. Yes. <laughs> we love the Deb. Okay. Yeah. Micah, can you dub key? No, I could run around with uh, a Rick, though. <laughs> so we're going to have to work on, on Micah a little bit. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, uh, so uh, for the show tomorrow night at 8.30 at the Hemlock Tavern, what can we expect in terms of what are you going to um, perform? Hagawati. Hagawati. Good. <clears throat> Anything else? Let's see. Hak. Hak. So these tracks will hopefully be on the upcoming album, City of Gin. Do you have any idea when it's going to be released? Is that we don't want to put pressure on these guys, you know. We do want to put music. pressure on. No, these but guys. you know, musicians they they retaliate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they delay it. You know. <laughs> Micah, any Supply idea? Demand. Like, like I mean, you, you, do you have enough tracks sort of recorded yeah, already? The, yeah. Everything is ready to go. We got the artwork um, is all done as well. It's just about getting it mastered and getting it, uh, you know, wow. printed. 
Mashallah. So, uh, so you'll keep us up to date because we when will. the CD is released, you know, I want to review it. You're going to stay in touch with us. I'm going to actually okay. take City of Jinn and Leia to my classroom right now where they're going to meet some of their fans. These are students of Arabic at wow. Stanford who yeah. have sort of uh, delved into your uh, and they're dying to ask you questions. I wish you could perform in class. We're going to have to work on that for the next visit, inshallah. And Marwan, you can answer questions in Arabic. Okay. Hey, thank you. Arabic in Tabaran. Thank you for Sahawi Labas of Taki Shami. Let me in Bas Ahsan Taban El Shami. Hey, Halatullah Bond, he cook Bill Fusha, the end of America and Amit Alamo Arabi. But did that into Taki Shami, Adi, Bifamu. Okay. But Sunday, the Mesa Luke, he's a Luke Bill Fusha. Okay. All right. Leah, Micah, and Marwan, it is a pleasure to have you here at Stanford. This was kind of spontaneous, but hey, we're taking advantage of every minute shuffling you from place to place uh, and uh, you're going to keep in touch with us here at the Arabology show of course okay Leah you're going to stay in touch with us I you're, will you're, absolutely you're a local gal so, yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. In, we're in the mix now and Micah Habibi shukran thank you for being here and being so gracious uh, we will be uh, right back after we play a track by uh, City of Jin right here on the Arabology show coming to you from KZSU Stanford 90.1 FM I'm your DJ Ramsey and thank you to City of Jin. Uh-huh.